soon to be one of our favorite events, I think. I'm so excited. Now, I've never gotten to go, but I think you've gone once, right? I think I have, yeah. Okay. This is the Furball, the Snake River Animal Shelter Furball, and we're Uh so excited for it. Yeah, it's this big fundraising event that they do every year. Um, I've heard great things about it, and we actually got invited to go this year, and I'm so stoked. Thanks, Lane and Whitney, Virgin Riverland and Cattle Company. Mm -hmm. You've heard us talk about they do that thing at Idaho Falls Spud Kings hockey games, Uh where if somebody gets a hat trick, they donate $500 to the animal shelter. Right. Well, they also got a table at the Furball and Uh invited us. I don't know why. I love that so much. So I'm so excited. <laughs> we took them to the Ermac Red Dress concert. They had a good time. We did. I think yeah. they did. Yeah. So uh, we're going to be there. The theme is what? Oh, Tales from Space, which I feel like there's been a lot of space themed stuff lately. T A I L S. Oh, yeah. Tales. Of from course, because they wag. Super cute. So cute, right? Oh, and mad props to Michelle Dingman. Dane's wife. Oh, She's yes. the executive director at the Snake River Animal Shelter. Yeah. Do you know they just won? I guess there was a national contest among animal shelters for adoptions. Uh-huh. They had this home for the hol- or home for holidays. Oh, cute. program like a three month adoption drive. Oh wow! Last year, mm-hmm. well, they did so well. Mm-hmm. That they won $25,000 for the shelter. Oh, that's awesome. Now, first of all, I will say it should have been a home for the Paula days, but okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but also, I'm so glad because I know that there have been a lot of pets going through their shelter lately, and they probably could really use that money to help kind of expand their facilities a little. I had the fortunate experience of adopting a cat from mm-hmm. the Snake River Animal Shelter and the unfortunate experience of surrendering a cat. On behalf oh. of a client. Oh, that's sad though still. To, to the Snake River Animal Shelter. And and I learned a very important lesson. You know how when they say feral cats? Right. That that doesn't mean, you know, crazy and um Right. And clawy all the time. Sometimes mm-hmm. it means they don't want a home. Right. Right. I get that. They they don't want to be kept inside. Yeah. You can you, you, you really can take the cat to... out the barn, but mm-hmm. you can't take the barn out the cat. Yeah. And I learned that the hard sad way. Yeah, you really do have to catch them when they're pretty young and, you know, get them used to being around people and stuff. But thank goodness um, for the Snake River Animal Shelter. Yeah, yeah, for all those critters that need somewhere to go. It's Saturday, March 9th. Tickets are 100 bucks a piece, which uh-huh. I know is spendy, but you know that's a registered mm-hmm. 501c3 charity and a tax deductible uh, charitable contribution. Uh-huh. Yeah, there is that. And, and <laughs> it's at the cost. Mountain America Center, by the way. Yes. Yeah. And I have to assume that some of your ticket costs also just go straight to the animal shelter. I would imagine. Which is awesome. Mm-hmm. You know, plus, I mean, realistically, how often do we get a dress up around here? You know, having you, a nice fun event to get all fancy at. As long as you can go out, dress up and go out. Yeah. That's all I want. You're happy. Yeah. That's what makes you happy. That's what fills you up, fills your cup. It is. I love to see and be seen. I love it. Yeah. And that's the thing. I don't even have to talk to other people you there. You love to see NBC? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have to talk to other people there, but I I just want people to know that I look fabulous. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you do. You rock it consistently every time. You know, and okay. So like with the red dress event, we talked about this a little. I almost went with a, a different dress that would have been a little bit more toned down, not quite as fun and fancy. A little more modest is hottest. Right. And then I was just like, you know what, man? No. No. Why would I go out and not give it my all? I think you said last episode, we're never going to the Met Gala. <laughs> right. So we might as well, you know, yeah, you find your special moments when you find them. Exactly. And this is going to be one of them. If you just uh, search for the fur ball on Facebook or go to the Snake River Animal Shelter website, mm-hmm. you'll get all the details. I'm so excited. You know, I've actually never had to adopt a pet from a shelter okay. because the universe <laughs> has just sort of distributed them to me. <laughs> they come to you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like currently I have three pets. Um, I've got, well, unless you're my HOA, then I only have two. <laughs> <laughs> but, but anyway, I've got two cats and I've got a chihuahua. Um, but my cat, Leo, we just found in the Walmart parking lot. Best thing I've ever gotten from Walmart, by the way. He's such a love. Oh, he's the, he's he is the pure love. He's the epitome of the perfect cat. Mm. He's just a sweet baby. He sleeps in my arms like a little teddy bear every night. And he's chunky and his little butt jiggles when he moves. Oh, I love him so much. <laughs> Um, and then there's Coco, of course, who um, she was a kitten of one of my mom's friend's cats who was going to be a barn cat otherwise. So my mom was kind of helping to like 
you know, home the kittens before they had to just live outside their whole lives. And I ended up getting her kind of late because my husband at the time, my now exican, uh, was sort of fighting it. Uh-huh. And he was like, we don't need another pet. And I was like, mm, but she needs us. Yeah. You know, <laughs> the only pet out of all of them that I paid for was Rango. But he also was kind of a not wanted pet and like wouldn't have gone to a good home without me. I can't imagine why. <laughs> oh, shush. He was a puppy at the time. So he was a lot. He was different. You and know? You, you met if you haven't met him before, you met him last episode. Right. And you said his full name was Rango Mariachi <laughs> Venus Penis. Well, and that's mostly a joke. His I mean, his middle name is Mariachi. So it's it's supposed to be Rango Mariachi Morgan. You but know, then I was throwing extra stuff in to make it fun. <laughs> you know how some people have uh, n- their nickname in quotes yes. between their first name and their last name? Yes. Uh-huh. I was pretty proud of the nickname I came up with, Rango, because you called him Bagango. Yes. And I came up with Bagangsta. Yeah, which is a really good name. Because he is a little bit hood, let's he face is. it. He is. So he totally I, is. I think it ought to be Rango, uh-huh. in quotes, Bagangsta, uh-huh. Mariachi <laughs> Venus Penis. I love that. Can we add one more word to his name? <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. You know what? Let's just make it one of those like ridiculously long names. Yeah, we'll keep you going. Know? Yeah, I love it. Well, Coco's name is what? Uh, co- well, okay. Her nickname is Coquita Mi Morcita Yedagoyal. Okay. Yeah. 